Yes. All right, please give a warm welcome for Sheer. So my name is Sheer. I'm a senior in design AM. And for my unit, I decided to make a cookbook called Food Things. Um, so basically, Food Things is this Snapchat story that I have that I started like a year ago. And basically where I post like all the food that I eat or make. And it kind of started like as a joke, but it's kind of become something that like I really like and a lot of my friends know about it. And so this was my main goals was to really make my book colorful, include childhood recipes, bond with my family, and be able to gift it to my parents at the end. Um, I want to make something that like I could pass on to them after I leave for college. My planning process was including a mood board, choosing the recipes I wanted in it, in design, taking photos of each recipe, and then finally ordering the final product with blurb. Um, this is some progress shots of everything in design. Some of the challenges I faced was having a lot of white space as well as taking like photos of my food and the consistency throughout the book, making sure that it all kind of tied together. And then also just time. And then this is like my final product. Um, I'm ordering it probably like today or tomorrow. So this is like a run through of everything. Um, yeah, I separated each category with like, I want basically a lot of color. I want it to be consistent so that it wasn't like everything, every page was different. But I also didn't want it to be really boring. A lot of the recipes are like childhood recipes that like my family makes all the time, but we never really have it on paper. I also want to include like a lot of photos. Um, yeah, kind of make sure everything was like a little bit different, but also cohesive at the same time. I still feel like some of the pages were a little bit too busy because it's like recipes that you have to include certain steps. But we were all pretty happy with how it turned out. So that's the end. And I also have the front and cover, but that's like on a separate folder, which will be on the end. And then so overall, I'm really happy with the outcome. I think if I had a little bit more time, I would take like, better photos of the recipe and kind of more like progress shots of making each recipe with my family. And then also maybe just adding more like GDs on each page. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with the outcome. I'm definitely going to order it for like, my family. I know my grandparents already want some, and like I have friends who have come and asked for a book too. So.
same issue? What do you think that you would like do differently? I think I would definitely add more like GDs to each page, kind of make it like I like originally I wanted to have like blurbs for each recipe, like oh this is and then like my sister's recipe, this is what she has to say on it. Like this is my friend Mia's recipe, this is what she has to say on it. Kind of make it a little bit more personal. Um, so yeah, I would definitely do that. What's a GB? It's a graphic design element. So, food photography is a it's a big business. Uh, what did you learn? What would you do better? What would you? How would you improve your photos? Um, I definitely had issues with like, the lighting and just making it look good on camera because I feel like like food it depends on like how soon you take the photo after you make it. Also, like placing it as well, like the background behind the food. Um, I just didn't really spend that much time. I kind of would rather, I got dedicated my time more to like the design of the book rather than like the, photo, like the food photography, but I probably would like, I watched like one really quick tutorial on like how to like place your food, but I would kind of go more into that. Yeah. You know like for like advertising, advertisements and stuff, they make like, like for like a bowl of cereal, like put it in like the food and stuff. Yeah. Like, or something. Yeah. Did you ever think about like, like using like fake like, I kind of want to be more genuine. Like, if I wanted to look like really professional, I probably would have done that. But I wasn't like too worried about like the images. Yeah. yeah. Um. Do you think you like learned something that you like will be designed in the new maybe? Or um. Well, I mean, I really love the documentary that we did this year, and like even after finishing that last year, I knew I wanted to like somehow go back into design and create something new with it. Um, I don't know if I wrote anything like new specifically, but I just really like being able to kind of like do another big project with the design. Yeah. Uh, adding on to it, so you'd say that you kind of figure out like, like how to like manage it better? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Thank you.